Hey everyone, we are back here at Peak Human and I'm with Dr. Sanjeev. Today's topic, we are covering fatty liver disease. And on that note, why are we talking about fatty liver disease? Yeah, fatty liver disease is a really common problem. Surprisingly, most people are not aware of it. You go to your doctor, they don't really talk to you about it. Mm -hmm. But about one in four people in the world have fatty liver. And okay. having fat in your liver is not a good thing. It actually okay. is a sign of uh, diseases associated with a number of diseases, including uh, diabetes, heart disease, obesity. All of these things are linked to fatty fatty liver. So it's not something you know that we kind of want to have, and so it's important to understand. Yeah, so you're discussing it because one in four, that's a lot. That seems, huge, 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 huge. Uh, and I had no idea. So what is it exactly then? Yeah, so fatty liver basically means, yeah, uh, it's, you know, the, the mnemonic is uh, N-A-F-L-D, so non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Okay. And what that means is that, so fat is accumulating into the, uh, the liver cells. Okay. And is basically is starting to impair the, the normal function. The function of the liver. And what ends up happening is that at the very beginning, the fat starts to kind of infiltrate into the liver and starts to impair the cells of the, the liver function. Uh, and then what happens is that the body starts to react to that. It causes inflammation. In the liver. In the liver. Okay. And then once there's more and more inflammation, then that causes fibrosis. You could think that a scarring starts to happen. Okay. And then and so that there would be pain associated with that. Sometimes these are painless. Like okay. Be, uh, you know, fibrosis would be the next step, and then the, after that would be cirrhosis. Okay. So when people have, <clears throat> you know, people you normally hear about cirrhosis with people who are over drinking with alcohol for many years. Well, that's happening because of the same type of thing where liver is getting damaged, mm -hmm. scarred, and eventually doesn't function at all. And a cirrhotic liver is a liver that's really shrunken in size and it's not functioning properly. Uh, now, what is the concern? And just for those who are really uh, need a biology lesson again, mm -hmm. what is the function of the liver? Why yeah, is it important? That's, that's <laughs> a really good question. So the liver is an organ that's right in what we call the right upper quadrant, right underneath the rib, ca uh, rib cage. Okay. And it functions. And it's in on on which side? This side? The, the right, right side. side okay. Yeah. And so um, it it basically functions in, um, in a. Um, a detox fa fashion so okay. it helps it has you know all the cells have these enzymes that help to uh, does it clean the blood is that what it does if you want to call it it's not exact cleaning but it's it's basic removing removing toxins. Mo molecules okay. and toxins from the body and, and you p end up peeing them out so it, okay. it, it does a what we call a phase one and phase two reactions which happen in, in the liver and you end up peeing out these these uh, metabolites. Okay, so it's a very important function. Uh, on top of that, it has a huge effect on on energy metabolism and glucose. So it's where the sugar is being released mm -hmm. um, for, from what we're eating, and it's being released into the blood from from the liver. So the liver performs a very important function. With, and uh, uh, what are some of those health concerns then, when when your liver is impaired and and the fat is attacking it. Yeah, if the liver is impaired, then then you know you have again a problem with with detoxification. You have a problem with with uh, with what we're going to talk about. And fatty liver is, is uh, glucose regulation and mm -hmm. insulin resistance. Okay. So that's why fatty liver is associated with heart disease and um, and diabetes and and obesity. So now that you've identified it's an epidemic, how does one know? Like, how would I know yeah. that I have it? So most times it's a very silent thing. You would not know, just like you wouldn't know that you have high blood pressure issues mm -hmm. until it's really bad. You know, mo it's, it's asymptomatic. And unless you're getting to the part where the liver is not functioning, which is really an end stage, once the liver is not functioning, that's a very serious issue. But before that, you would never really know. And so it's, when you go to your doctor generally as part of a physical they will okay. do some tests to look at your liver enzymes so how does how do you test for liver enzymes do they just a blood test a blood, it's test. A blood okay. test and so the the cells when they're damaged when these liver cells hepatocytes are damaged they release some uh, basic molecules okay. that we can test for in the blood and if they're elevated these enzymes that's a sign that there's liver damage happening so right. let's say you go on an alcohol you know drinking binge for like a, you know, a week or <laughs> Let's two. Let's just imagine. <laughs> yeah. Then there is a short 
short amount of time that you have an increased liver enzymes. That's very normal. but Because you're putting your liver to work, right? It's causing, yes, yeah, some type of inflammation and some type of damage, but the liver is amazingly has regenerative powers, and so okay. it does come back and you can just be completely normal and have no no lasting damage. But if you have constant constant irritation and, and inflammation in your liver, then there will be some type of scarring after some time. Right, because you mentioned two types of the liver, fatty liver, mm -hmm. the non-alcoholic and then the one the that alcohol. involves alcohol. Exactly. What, because I've heard people can kill themselves or like they die because of alcohol poison, not alcohol poisoning, I guess their liver fails. What does it mean to have liver failure? What does that mean? It just means that, yeah, the liver is not functioning and okay. so it leads to failure. So again, liver is a, you cannot survive without a liver. Okay. It performs such an important function in your body. Again, basically moving all these uh, molecules mm -hmm. from your blood. So uh, that's what that's what liver failure would be. And and uh, NAFLD, not uh, fatty liver, is the number one cause of liver failure because not everybody will progress to liver failure who has fatty liver. But there is some small percentage of people. Who end up with inflammation it becomes like it's a what we call a cascade like sure you begin you start with fatty liver which a lot of people do and it has all these issues with heart disease and diabetes and so on but some of those people will have inflammation and then some of these inflammation people will end up with fibrosis and then some of those fibrosis people will move on to cirrhosis which is actual liver failure and, and die from it so, right so when I associate fatty and liver, mm -hmm. does it have anything to do with somebody's weight? Yes. So okay. It's Is there clearly a relationship? related. Okay. It's clearly related. Like it, that's fatty liver seems to be associated with people who are overweight. Okay. Because it's related to the amount of fat that's in our body. Okay. And when the live, when your body is taking in more energy, and needs to store the fat, needs to store energy, it will store the fat in your body. And, so and this is storing it it's right in the right liver. In the liver. Okay. It, it'll store it around your tummy, it'll store it in different parts of your body, and it will store it around the organs and in the liver because the liver is where a lot of this is happening, where the body is sending the signal mm -hmm. to convert the glucose and, and move it into fat storage. So what advice would you give to our audience or anyone listening that might have a concern or want to check if they're already in the phase of like, having this concern because yeah, because you said they can't there's no symptoms it's kind of scary exactly so i think it's very important that when you go to see your doctor that make sure that they're checking those liver enzymes okay. and and if there's any sign of uh you know elevation that there's definitely a risk that you could have fatty liver if you have a history of of drinking you should be checking it as well because you know combination of drinking with just general lifestyle issues could cause fatty liver uh, if you have diabetes, heart disease, those would be other risk factors as well. And if you're just slightly overweight, you know, which a lot yeah. of people are, then there's a high risk of fatty liver. And if, if there's anybody in your family who has fatty liver, then you're at very high risk as well. So I think it's, it's almost everybody should be screened with the blood test. And even if there's any risk of that, then, you, you know, maybe an ultrasound okay. to look and see if they can see some fat around the liver. Now, are there things we talked about? what it is and why we're talking about it, but mm -hmm. is there a cure? Is there a way to like deal with that? Or once you got it, you got it? No, it is, it is seems to be very related to lifestyle. So okay. if one can lose weight, lose fat on So you can body, change the yeah. amount of fatty oh, totally. liver or the totally. condition of your liver. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. There's Before there's cirrhosis, because once you're there- Cirrhosis, then, you, then it's, yes. it's irreversible, it's done, it's it. scarred, it's happened. So when there's no inflammation, you just have some fat around the liver, definitely just weight loss okay. will cause, you know, decreased fat around all your organs, including yeah. your liver. And uh, so definitely that's very important. There is some uh, evidence that vitamin E, 800 IUs per day could be helpful, but there's some controversy because uh, these people do not necessarily live longer, may have some other right. uh, issues with, with health, but uh, that potentially may be an uh, idea as well. Um, caffeine may improve fatty liver, but I think it's primarily uh, exercise, eating eating better, and mm -hmm. losing weight. And medications like Ozempic, which we talked about on another oh, episode, oh yes, could be also that would very, be that would help. Good for help because okay. Ozempic does help with with uh, sugar metabolism and and losing fat on your body. 
Well, Sanjeev, it's important for our audience to know that we are having a discussion about fatty liver, mm -hmm. but if you're listening and you have a concern, you definitely want to speak to your local doctor or physician about it. Is that correct? Yeah, this is something that needs to be followed by a physician. Of course, it's good for you to be aware of what's going on and to ask the questions because sometimes, you know, doctors are busy and they're not necessarily going to, you know, follow these things unless you're kind of saying, hey, I have this concern, Do I have? A, should I be worried here? Right. And uh, again, we're our best own best uh, should advocates. Be. We that's should who be. we should be. <laughs> so that, that's the whole purpose of what we're doing here and why we're talking about it today. And, and most people aren't really aware about fatty liver, right. but I see it every day and I'm, I'm checking on all my patients. And that's it's surprising great. how many patients have fatty liver and we just want to get on top of it. And I think uh, you know, it's a wake-up call for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's why we wanted to bring this to you today. Each and every week, we come up with an important topic that you should be aware of. Mm -hmm. And if you like the content and you're enjoying it, please do like, subscribe, and share. And also to support the ongoing, uh, you know, podcast. It's a work of passion. It is a work of passion. Yes. Uh, you can head over to yeah, peakhuman.ca. Click on our on our Quartz. become a member. Yes. And it's called the Peak Rewards Program. It's only nine ninety nine a month. Mm -hmm. uh, please Almond support up. us. We'd really appreciate that. And then we can make more content and we can get this work, get more out to you. And, um, also subscribe on, on our YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, we're on Apple Podcasts as well. And Anywhere that you yeah. see Peak Human, yeah. <laughs> we are there. And each and every week we talk about uh, a new topic. Uh, in addition, we also have the Battle to End Alzheimer's. We'll yes. make sure that we post all the links here. But your support is much appreciated. And we'll see you next week. Take care, everyone.